Hello, my name is Brandon Perkins. I'm an information technology professional at Florida State University. Today we're going to be talking about using Microsoft Office 2010 and 2011 for Mac with MyFSU. In this video tutorial, I'll give a brief overview of MyFSU and its features. I'll also go over Microsoft Office 2011 for Mac, Microsoft Office 2010, and when and why to use SkyDrive. The items you'll need before you begin are a MyFSU account, Microsoft Office 2010 or Microsoft Office 2011 for Mac, and an internet connection. This video is primarily for students at Florida State University using MyFSU, although people using Windows Live may find this tutorial useful as well. MyFSU brings new and enhanced features to FSU students including email, office web apps, SkyDrive, Messenger, Photo Gallery, mobile devices, and Windows Live Mesh. This tutorial will only be focusing on three of the products, email, web apps, and SkyDrive. For more information on other products, visit windowslive.com. Let's talk about MyFSU activation. To activate your MyFSU account, you can go to www.fsu.edu slash MyFSU. A MyFSU account comes with several features. You get 10 gigabytes of email storage, 25 gigabytes of cloud-based file storage using SkyDrive, online computer backup and synchronization using LiveMesh, online collaboration tools, Microsoft Office web apps, and mobile access to email. Once you're ready to activate your account, click Activate Account. This will redirect you to the campus.fsu.edu login page. Here, you should go ahead and enter your FSU ID and password to log in. Once logged in, you'll get a message that your account activation has been submitted. It may take up to 10 minutes for your new account to be created on the server. To log in to MyFSU, select Access MyFSU Email. This will redirect you to the Outlook.com login page. To sign in, use your FSU ID at my.fsu.edu email address and type in your password that you would use with Blackboard. And now we're logged in. As you can see, this is a similar interface to the Outlook email client in Microsoft Office. Let's take a quick look around. At the top of the screen, you'll notice several different drop-down menus. The first one is Mail. If you click Mail, you'll find links to your email inbox, your calendar, and your contacts that are stored in MyFSU. Let's look at the Office drop-down menu. In the Office drop-down menu, you'll find your Recent Documents, your Documents folder, groups that you're sharing documents with, you can create a new Word document, create a new Excel workbook, create a new PowerPoint presentation, or create a new OneNote notebook. Under Photos, you'll find Recent Photos, your Albums, Photos of You, and you can share photos with others. In the More drop-down menu, you'll find links to common FSU websites, including the FSU homepage, the Blackboard Academic Suite, 
where you log into campus.fsu.edu. A link to the IT Help Desk, ITS's homepage, and Seminole Athletics, where you can purchase tickets for sporting events. You'll also find a link to devices that are currently synced with MyFSU, your SkyDrive, where documents are stored, mobile devices that are currently syncing with MyFSU, downloads that are available, and all services available with MyFSU. Since this tutorial is primarily about integration of Microsoft Office with MyFSU, we're going to go ahead and create a new Word document. The new Microsoft Word document page will open. It will ask you to input a new name for the document. We'll go ahead and change this name to My FSU Test Document. If you look above, you can see that this document will be saved in your SkyDrive. We'll look more at the SkyDrive in just a minute. If you would like to share your document, you can click the Change button in the Share With section. Currently, this is only being shared with myself. I can also share this with some of my friends by entering their name below, or all of my friends, friends and their friends, where they can send it to people, and everyone, where it's public on the web. If I'd like to select somebody to share it with, I can enter their name or email address, or select them from my contact list. We're not going to share it, so let's click Save. Once you hit Save, the Microsoft Word web app will open up. It has a very similar interface to Microsoft Word in Office 2010. Let's go ahead and type in something. My FSU test document. And maybe we'll want to in insert something. So let's click on the Insert tab at the top. And we'll insert a web link. So we'll click on Link. We'll go ahead and type in www.fsu.edu slash myfsu. And we'll display myfsu web page. and insert. So now we've just created a document using the Microsoft Word web app. We'll go ahead and save this. File save. And it's been saved to uh, my SkyDrive under the name MyFSU test document. So let's go ahead and click on SkyDrive. And we'll see a list of doc the documents folder and the item that we just created, my FSU test document. Let's go ahead and uh, click on the information button for this. Some of the tasks that we can do with this file are uh, view it in a browser. We can edit the file in a browser, just like we created it. We can open it in Word locally on the computer. We can view the version history. We can download the file. We can rename the file. Or we can delete it. You can also manage sharing in here by clicking uh, Edit Permissions. Let's take a look at the My Documents folder. In my My Documents folder, you'll see a list of documents that I've previously created. Just like your documents folder on your PC, this folder is a good place to organize all of your documents that you've created. Now that we've activated your account and saved the document to SkyDrive, let's create a new document on your computer and save it to SkyDrive. 
we'll go ahead and open Word and choose a blank template. And let's type something in. We'll use the same thing. My FSU test document. We'll call this two. Perfect. Now let's add a uh, picture into the document just to make it distinct. We'll add clip art and we'll select this globe. Drag it over and resize it. We have a diff different document. Now we can go ahead and save it. Instead of doing file save, we're going to do file share. And we're actually going to send this to SkyDrive. So we'll select save to SkyDrive. Normally, a username and password prompt would come up. Here, you would enter your FSU ID, email address, uh, and your password. So it looks like mine is already auto-saved, so it's logged in automatically. We'll go ahead and save this document to uh, the My Documents folder on SkyDrive. We'll call it My FSU, oops, FSU, Test Document 2. And we'll save this to My Documents, save. And the document's been saved to, uh, to our SkyDrive. Let's look at the properties on the document to see where it actually saved it to. We'll do File, Properties, and we'll click on the General tab. The location, as you can see, is actually saved to docs.live.net, which is the SkyDrive server, not locally on your computer. This means that this document will be accessible from anywhere that you have an internet connection using Windows, your Windows Live account. Let's go ahead and take a look on the Windows Live side. We're in Windows Live and now uh, we can see our documents folder and the MyFSU test document that we created previously. If we click on the My Documents folder, we'll see the documents that are currently in there, including the MyFSU test document 2 that we just created. Let's go ahead and open that document. And there it is, uh, the document that we created, including the globe that we pulled in uh, using clip art in Word 2011. Let's go ahead and make this distinct to uh, see if we can write back changes as well. We'll go up to the top, and we'll actually have to edit in browser. This is going to open up the Word web app, and we'll add my name in here. And we'll go ahead and, and save this. File save, and it's saved back to the SkyDrive. If we go back into Word now, we should see the changes that have been applied. Let's go do that. And we're back over here. Let's open up Word. And instead of choosing File Open, I'm just going to go over to uh, today's recent documents. We'll select the MyFSU test document too. Uh, but before we do, let's take a look uh, at the file location. Over on the right side, we'll see where the file is located. And just like in the Properties dialog box earlier uh, that we saw in the web browser, we can see that it's saved to docs.live.net, which is the SkyDrive location. So let's go ahead and open that document by selecting Choose. And it's prompting me for my username and password. Just like before, we're going to enter uh, your FSU ID at my.fsu.edu and your uh, login password like you would use with Blackboard. You can choose whether to save your password or not. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And this is going to download the document uh, from SkyDrive and, and open it. And there it is. We can see that the changes that we made online, uh, adding in my name, were actually applied.
So something like this would be useful whenever we actually want to save something to a central location and open it uh, at another computer without having to use a flash drive. So let's do the same thing from Windows. We're going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Word 2010. And let's add some text in. We'll type in the same thing. My FSU test document. And we'll add from Microsoft Word 2010. Now that we've added text, we can go ahead and save that. File. And we're going to go down to Save and Send. And then Save to Web. This is where Microsoft Live is located. And we'll go ahead and sign in. If you don't have an account already, you can sign up for a Windows Live account uh, at the link below and we'll enter our email address uh, our FSU ID at my.fsu.edu and your uh, login password for Blackboard and click OK and we'll log in and you can see that your my documents folder is uh, located right in here. We'll go ahead and click Save As. It'll save the document. Ask us to type in a name. And we'll click Save or hit Enter. And now we're back to the document. And we should also see the document back in uh, Windows Live, SkyDrive. Um, but again, this is good for if you don't want to save to a USB drive and you want to open this on multiple computers uh, in case you're, you need to print something or save something on a central location. We're back in uh, Windows Live, or MyFSU, and uh, we're going to go ahead and click on My Documents so that we can see the file we just created in Word 2010. And there it is, uh, my FSU test document from Microsoft. We'll go ahead and open it. And there's a the text that we put in. Let's go ahead and edit it. We'll click the, uh, click the edit button at the top. And now we're in uh, the editing mode. So we can go ahead and um, type something else in. We'll say edited in Microsoft Word web app on SkyDrive. And now we can go ahead and file save. And that's going to save it back to the SkyDrive. So we should be able to go back and open it in Word again, and it should have the changes. We're back in Windows. Let's go ahead and click on Word to open it. And we'll open the document from SkyDrive uh, instead of creating a new one. So we'll do File. And we'll go to Recent Documents. It should show up right there since we created it originally in Word. And it's going to ask you to log in. So we'll enter our FSU ID at my.fsu.edu and your Blackboard password. downloading the document and there you have it uh, you can see that the changes we just made in the web app 
edited in Microsoft Word web app on SkyDrive, uh, has been added to the document and saved. You may be wondering when you should use SkyDrive. You can use MyFSU SkyDrive anytime, anywhere, as long as you have an active internet connection. This is great for all those times when you're at the library and you forget to bring your flash drive. Instead of emailing yourself multiple copies of files, you can just save them to MyFSU SkyDrive. Whenever you get home, you can always access SkyDrive again at Windows Live or Outlook.com. If you need to access the files but don't have Microsoft Office on your home computer, you can always access the web applications at Outlook.com. The applications include Microsoft Office Word, Microsoft Office Excel, Microsoft Office PowerPoint, and Microsoft Office OneNote. Today we've gone over many features of MyFSU. We've gone through activation of the account, integration with Microsoft Office 2011 for Mac, integration with Microsoft Office 2010, and how to use the web applications. We've also gone over how and when to use MyFSU SkyDrive. For more about MyFSU, or Windows Live, you can visit www.fsu.edu slash myfsu or you can go to explore.live.com. If you need help with any features in Windows Live, you can visit windowsLiveHelp.com. My name's Brandon Perkins, and thanks for watching. Enjoy your new MyFSU account.